I know it's ridiculous, but see, we've just been putting boxes here, and we haven't broken them down. Some of that's tools, but we haven't broken them down because what's the point whenever we're about to use them?
Okay, so I've taken my hair out of this. I have not done anything except take it out. And I've looked over my planner. That's what that thing is. To see what I needed to um, get done today. And today it's changing the sheets, which means washing sheets and towels. And um, uh, I need to clean the bathroom. Um, and whenever I clean the bathroom, I'm not going to film that today. I'm just not. Uh, because it's just me wiping the sink and toilet. And I just don't want to film that today. <laughs> I don't I don't want to try to figure out how to put the camera in there. And y'all, honestly, I think I've forgotten how to do it. <laughs> how to put the camera in, not how to clean. I know how to clean. <laughs> but anyway... Um, you saw my kitchen. Uh, it's a bit of a mess. There's a lot of clothes that need to be put away. Um, and like I told you guys, well, I don't know if I told you on, like, this kind of video, or if I just said it on a planner video. I'm trying to, ch to get a new schedule for my cleaning routine. And the reason why is because everything is all discombobulated and I don't feel like I can go back to the one I had before because I want to just do Monday through Friday focus on the house and Saturday and Sunday be down at the mobile home doing things and then on days when I am down at the mobile home during the week if something gets let go here at home I'll try to do it the next day, that kind of thing. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, I want to say the word persecute, but I don't know if that, that just sounds so harsh. I don't want to, like, make a new schedule and give up the schedule just because I didn't do it exactly like I had planned, that kind of thing. So what I'm doing now is a trial. This is a let's see how it works kind of thing. So on Mondays, I'll be doing bathrooms. Tuesdays, I'm doing kitchen. And that's why I was showing you the kitchen. Um, what I'm doing tomorrow, I mean today, I will be getting all the clean dishes and the dirty dishes taken care of. And the dishes that are over there that are the giveaway stuff, the purge dishes that I still have not put away, those will go out of the way. So I'm going to get... All of that stuff cleaned off. That way tomorrow I can go over there and I can deep clean. I can clean the cabinets, fronts. I can um, do like the spice rack that's over there. I can deep clean the counters, like move everything and wipe under them and stuff like that, which I'm thinking about one thing. I'm contemplating moving it completely from over there. Um, it's just a little thing that I have stuff sitting on. I don't really know if I need it there. I, I kind of want to change it anyway. You'll see if I change it because it, you'll see it in the, in the video. Because I'm going to video this. But anyway, I want to do like all the counter front. Oh, uh, what? Counter fronts? No. Well, those two. But <laughs> the cabinet fronts, the countertops, the, um, the, what are those things called? canisters yeah I guess that's what they're called I want to do the canisters like wipe them down real good and do the appliances wipe those down real good so tomorrow's gonna be kitchen day and I need to write that down it's also the day that I need to um, vacuum the floors unless well yeah I can still vacuum okay let's see kitchen I'm gonna write kitchen down I already have the kitchen and change the bathrooms and change sheets for today. Um, I'm also going to fill all the things on Tuesdays. If you don't know what filling all the things is, that is when I um I fill up my little weekly medicine thing. I fill up the coffee pods. I fill up any like the dish detergent if it needs it. I fill up the toilet paper in the bathroom. I put, like, I just restock everything out of my big stock. <laughs> I 
don't really know how to say it. If um, it needs it. If it doesn't need it, I just skip it, of course. You can't fill up something that doesn't need filled up. But that's what Tuesdays, they're kitchen, vacuum mopping, and filling all the things. And yes, that's more than what I used to do, but that's okay. Um, and then on Wednesdays, I pay bills, which I know that's not a cleaning chore, but it's still a chore. And it's something I need to remember to do. And it's the day that we make the grocery list. And also, what I have decided is Wednesday can be my day that if I didn't do the things on Monday and Tuesday, I can do it on Wednesday. Whatever I didn't get done. If something happens that I can't do it. And I don't really have a dedicated chore for that day. And then on Thursdays, grocery shopping, which is a whole lot of everything. Mondays is also trash day and so is Thursday. But Thursdays will be for like grocery shopping and things like that. I know there's a lot of things that I used to always do that I am missing, but I've got to figure out what they were. I, I don't, I can't, for some reason, I know it's only been like two and a half months, well, almost two and a half months. Quite honestly, it's been longer than that since I quit doing my cleaning routine because of my back. But it's been a little while and I don't remember all my stuff. I could go back and look at videos. I could go back and look at my planner. I probably have it written down somewhere, but honestly, I'm just gonna make up my a new one for during the transition part of moving. So Thursdays will be grocery shopping and then if there's anything like any packing I can do, I'm gonna be doing that for now. And of course, whenever I'm packing, I'll be cleaning things too. So that'll work out. And then Friday will be my day that I make sure that all the laundry is caught up. Like all the laundry is folded and put away, all that stuff. And you did see me take a bunch of clothes into our bedroom and put on the bed. Those Noah folded yesterday whenever he stayed home and Jeff and I went down to the mobile home. He mowed the grass, weeded it, all that stuff. He washed his car. He did the leaf blowing and cleaned the, um, the driveway and the front porch and all the things. And he also folded a bajillion clothes um, because he just did because I didn't catch up with it Friday I didn't do all the things so hopefully on Fridays I don't really have much to do because if things go the way I want it to go I will be back in my routine of everyday washing a load dry a load put it away you know that kind of thing that's what my plan is and I know some days I'm something's pulling one hair it feels like what's happening I don't know if it was my watch or what I think there's the hair Oh, my phone's still in the bedroom. I just heard it go off. But anyway, that'll be that day. Now, that'll be things I have to focus on. That does not mean I'm not going to do some kind of cleaning because there might be a day that I need to clean my desk. Right now, my desk looks a crazy mess, but it's not really a crazy mess. It's just things that need to be put away. Like, my purse is on my desk. It's never on my desk normally. Why does it feel like something's still pulling? There's... It's not the watch. It's not possible. It wasn't possible whenever I just held my arm out. My phone's going off again. What's happening? Anyway, I might better go get it because it might be time for Jeff to call soon. So I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, y'all. My sister just sent me a video of her grandbaby, Elena. And um, she babysits her on Mondays. And Elena is not being nice today. <laughs> She spilled her cereal. Well, it was dry. I think it was cereal anyway. That's what it looked like in the bowl. But my sister has cameras all over her house, inside and out. And she's got them inside because she has a, a dog that stays inside so she can talk to her whenever she's away from home, which is very rare, but sometimes she's away from home. Um, and anyway, Elena decided to... First, she spilled a little bit of cereal, and so 
Elaine, my sister, was trying to clean it up, but she said, that's not nice. No, Elena, don't do that, because Elena was trying to, like, make a bigger mess, I guess. But she ran off and said, bye-bye. <laughs> it was so cute. That was cute. And that right there would have had me just laughing, probably, when oh, it does have me laugh. It's not a funny situation, because Elena was doing wrong, but she is, like, less than two years old. <laughs> But anyway, she was trying to clean it up, and she made a bigger mess. She poured it all out, and then she ran away. <laughs> so, I don't know. It was cute, but not, I'm pretty sure Elaine is just laughing as she sent it to me, <laughs> because that's what she does. She just kind of like, like laughs it off, you know, but she's just being a kid and trying to push her boundaries. Maybe she was done eating. I don't know. I don't really know what happened, but funny, not funny. How about that? I mean, <laughs> but it was a cute video, and she just ran off bye bye in her little cute little dress. Anyway, I don't know what I was talking about anymore because of the cuteness of Elena and also the <laughs> the situation that <laughs> my sister's trying to have to clean up <laughs> while the mess is being made even more. Anyway, um. What was I talking about? I don't know. Cleaning. Um, this is a situation. At this point in time, I have decided I'm not going to really try to make myself a big routine here. I'm going to keep things tidy. I'm going to make sure things don't get gross. The kitchen and the bathroom will definitely be clean because... Those are two things, I guess what I'm saying is, the things that would bother me most are what I'm going to focus on. The kitchen, the bathroom, like the clothes, the bed clothes, keeping us healthy and hygienic, you know, vacuuming, stuff like that. And as I go with us packing, we'll clean those areas really, really thoroughly. And then, once we get all of our stuff out of here, we'll clean again. And as we pack our things, we'll be cleaning them. Uh, and as I get things to donate, we'll be cleaning those things. I'm not going to give somebody dirty stuff. I mean, unless it's a shovel, which I'm not going to be giving any of those away because we need them. <laughs> we don't have any to, to give away. We don't have a spare. <laughs> but anyway, oh, I'm in a goofball mood, and I don't know. But, yeah, I'm not going to try to get a real big routine here because we're in transition so i guess i'm going to do a transitional routine i guess is what i'm trying to do and i'll be sharing with y'all what we're doing as we go today like i said i think i said i don't know if i said i'm not going to be sharing me cleaning the bathroom but i will be cleaning the bathroom you saw me take the sheets off they're in the washer they're getting close to being you know going are done finished whatever um you saw a little bit of my morning routine i still have not brushed my hair i just took it out of this and well i brushed i combed through it with my fingers and there's no tangles these things like when i first started trying to sleep in one it was absolutely horrible i couldn't keep it on my head i, I snatched it off but then i learned that not all of these are created equally. This is one that I got from Walmart. Some of them are like super tight on your head. I think the first one I ever had probably should have been for a child, even though it was adult size. Um, I found the ones with wider bands are more comfortable for me. This one's good though, but I think it's because I've worn it so much. But they make such a huge difference whenever it comes to like not having all the tangles and knots in your hair whenever you get up and whenever i'm doing like the curly girl method kind of my version it keeps my curls but lately i have not been focusing on that i've just been focusing on putting my oils in my hair and keep trying to keep it clean and healthy um my battery's flashing 
I don't know what else I'm gonna be sharing with y'all today. I don't even know what we're having for dinner tonight because our menu plan has not been made yet. I think I'm gonna sit down today and do it myself because Jeff, we just don't have time. We've got so many more other things to focus on that we just don't have time. So, you might see something else after this. I don't know yet, but um, other than the Bible study, but there will be a Bible study at the end of this video today. So, there's that, because there always is on Thursdays. Sure Thursday, my Monday. So anyway, I'm going to go for about the second. I need to change my battery because it's flashing at me. And my other one's not even fully charged yet because I forgot to put it on charge last night. So, I'm about to be without battery. So, I'll be back at some point. Maybe I'll just use my little adapter and plug it up to record the Bible study and then go on about my business or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter either way as long as I get it done. Right? Right. Yes. And I will be keeping my house clean and tidy. It just won't be the same way I used to. It's going to be different because we're going to be... We're in transition. The, the front room is full of boxes. Look. Let me see if I can show you all that. I know it's ridiculous. But see, we've just been putting boxes here. And we haven't broken them down. Some of that's tools. But we haven't broken them down because what's the point whenever we're about to use them? So, yeah. Everything's a bit of discombobulation. And these Noah had me buy for him to pack his stuff. I think I told y'all about that. Anyway, my battery's going to die. And as soon as those are done, I, I'll probably make the bed with you. I might put these clothes away with y'all just to motivate me to do it. I don't know. What was that? I don't know. Y'all couldn't even see it. I'll be back. Further we move on from all those yesterdays, happiness gets nearer. The light that we see closing in so fast ahead, it's hope, it's getting clearer. The more I think of all the tough times we survived, the more it makes me smile. If nothing's broken us, you yeah, nothing never will. Cause dreams are hard to kill. And I know somewhere, somewhere's a place where we can build our memories. Somewhere, just hold on tight.
Okay, so I know you guys saw me put on that little gauze of blanket thing. Let's see. This is a cotton muslin, not, I think it's muslin, anyway. Cotton blanket thing, similar to this, except a little bit thicker. You saw me put it on before I put my sheet on. I'm going to go into the living room and talk to y'all about it. Okay, so, um, the little blanket thing that I put on, wow, that light behind me, it's, it's not doing what I need it to do, it's in my way. Anyways, um, the little blanket thing that I put on, it's, it's a gauze, cotton, muslin, something. Actually, I don't remember what it's exactly called, I got it from Amazon, and, let's see. Um, cotton muslin blanket. 
That's what it says. It's supposed to be like gauzy. It actually has gauze in there too. Anyways. Um, I got it because I wanted um one of those types of sheet blankets, whatever you want to call it. So I have this thing where textures at different times bother me. Like there's sometimes where that I need something that is like flannel like against my skin sometimes I need just like cotton sheets sometimes I need a fleecy type material it's just always something different with me so I can sleep better but it's not only me sleeping it's also my clothes if they don't feel the right way I can't stand them I don't want them and like food textures certain ones like no I cannot eat it if it doesn't feel right in my mouth things like that so I have I guess it's texture sensitivities I don't know exactly what it is but I have those types of things that happen with me and I at times have to change the way what we're sleeping with um, like I might want just a cotton sheet sometimes or, or whatever just whatever and Jeff doesn't care as long as it's clean as long as it's comfortable he doesn't care um, what he sleeps under as long as it's the right weight or whatever uh, as long as it's not too heavy or too too soft but uh, or not heavy it's soft but light like he, he wants it to be a certain way but he's pretty much flexible with anything and I, I can be flexible if I have to sleep under a certain kind of blanket or whatever I'll do it but I won't sleep well so I got that because I had gotten me that the small one at Walmart Jeff got it for me and it just felt so good so he said well find you a big one to put on the bed so I did and it is so nice and at first I was going to put it um, between the sheet and bedspread, or it's supposed to be a quilt, but it's more like a bedspread. Anyways, um, I was going to put it there, but then I put it where it's at with the sheet between them. I really don't even need the sheet, I just do it anyway. But put it where the sheet should be, the flat sheet should be just to give me more comfort and it has helped me to sleep better to rest better um i got it from amazon it's in my amazon store if you guys want to look at it no it's not sponsored no i did not i paid my own money for it i looked for it for myself and honestly i'm thinking about i know that i do sponsor things every once in a while where I, they give me something and i share it and i just i don't know if I want to continue doing that I keep having thoughts like sometimes I think oh well it's a good thing because maybe someone else will like it but then I think I really just don't want to do it in some ways it's just I think it's a mood thing it's kind of what mood I'm in <laughs> whether I want to do it or not but um anyway don't know how I got on that but I don't I bought that with my own money it has nothing to do with any company or whatever um it's just something that hair is like freaking my brain out but it's just something that i thought i would try because i did like the way the other one felt and the other one did help me sleep better and this way jeff can have some too <laughs> but uh today is actually the day of the eclipse but we're not really seeing anything happening um it's a little bit darker outside but nothing's really happening the last eclipse actually I think that it's on my channel I did a live stream I think me and the kids were out in the front yard on a blanket and we watched it but um Noah and I have gone out a couple times but we're not seeing anything I don't know what Alabama's going to be getting I don't know how much we're going to see or whatever but anyway, that's what I was talking about is that blanket sheet, sheet blanket. It's a thin, thin blanket. And it's so nice. It just feels good. And um, 
I'm always having to change. Like even the little blankets that are here in the living room that I use, I swap them up often. Like I don't use the same thing all the time. Sometimes I, I actually just use a sheet and I always feel like whenever I'm sitting watching TV or something, I have to have something over my legs. I don't know. I have a lot of weird texture things. It's just who I am. <laughs> but I wanted to tell you all that. And now we're going on to the next thing, which is most likely the Bible study because I don't think I'm recording anything else today. Unless I can figure out I don't I can't seem to get I've tried to record the eclipse and it's just I don't think we're getting much I don't know I haven't really looked into it enough we're not in the you know total totality part of it we're on the outskirts of it so as far as I know from what I've seen I don't know I probably won't record any of it <laughs> there's a lot of people doing that already but anyway I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, guys. This part of the video is the Bible study. So, if you don't want to stay for that, thank you for staying as long as you have. Um, I know it's just been a lot of talk and some cleaning and some crazy and some weirdness. Because <laughs> that's me. Um, but, anyway. This is what we're doing for now. Bible in 52 weeks. We just have a few more weeks left. We're on week 47. So, um, like five weeks after this, is that right? Why do I need to count it every time? I, I don't need to, but I, I somehow need to. Yeah, five more weeks. Okay, so it's expect it, see it, achieve it. That's what this week is. It was uh, Zephaniah 1 through 3, Haggai 1 and 2, Zechariah 1 through 14, and Malachi 1 through 4, and it's, um, focus is Haggai 1 through 2. So, uh, before I get started with this, I want to talk to y'all a little bit. You know, I've been thinking about what I want to do next with the Bible study, and I thought, well, I'll just do, you know, just pick things from the Bible, and we'll study that, like maybe uh, the books of the Bible that are, you know, not talked about as much, or maybe subjects that are not talked about as much. Or, you know, something like that. But then I was thinking, right now I'm super busy with life. That would mean I would have to do extra study, which I don't mind doing extra study in the Bible. I love Bible study. But if I used a book, it would help me a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. So, I'm trying to decide still. I have five weeks. <laughs> actually less than that because I want to tell you guys before the before I actually decide just in case I do decide to use a book but I'm like I don't know I don't know what to do because it's kind of difficult to choose now that I've thought about it more and I'm thinking like you know I'm trying to find something that's right here in front of my face uh, that it's, it's, it's a little bit difficult. I thought about using this and I read this every day and I thought about picking things from it um, but because you can get this for free. Anybody can get this. It's they have oh okay don't I don't know for sure. Well let me look. Yes they have an app that you can get you can do it with ebook, you can do it email, and you can also read this on the web. You don't have to like, here, let me just put that there. So you can screenshot it or something if you want to. You don't actually have to buy this and you don't actually have to have this one. I actually have the big one with the larger print for older eyeballs. We're going to call it older eyeballs instead of, you know, whatever they're called. Over 40 eyes. Why is it 40? I mean, what? I don't care. It's fine. I mean, I do care, but I don't care. It's life. But what I thought about doing is like throughout the week, 
we could read each one together and I could write down things that I got from each one and then we could talk about it. But that might be difficult because I'm recording this on a Monday. I would have to figure out the schedule. I would figure out how to do it. So let's just say, okay, five weeks left. So that means five weeks of the one that we're in now. So that's three, four, my light's on, so I can't see that thing. Oh, I just messed up my count. I need the whole entire year all together. One, two, three, four, five. So that would mean the week of the 13th, which you would see it on the 16th, would be the very last one of this one. So what we would start doing is start reading this on the 13th of May. Like go from May 13th here and maybe I could like post a link on the community tab each day. But we could post a link and I could just tell you what I thought about a little bit of each one or maybe one that really stood out to me of the week or one that really made me have more, you know, meditating time, I guess is what you'd call it. I don't even know what you'd call it. I'd have to figure out the best way to do the schedule for something like this because the daily reading and then for y'all to be able to keep up with me, I'd have to know the exact dates we were reading from here to here. So I had to figure that out. I don't know. Y'all let me know if you think you might want to do something like this. If you hate Our Daily Bread, I don't. I've been reading it for years. But um, I haven't ever heard anything bad about it. <laughs> or maybe I just, you know, do what I said and do like the books of the Bible that are just maybe a little bit less read I don't know we'll see maybe I just read from the Bible and we talk I talk about what I feel as I go and not even plan for it I don't know that would feel weird I wouldn't want to do that but first sentence let's talk about expectancy for a moment <laughs> all right so we're gonna do this expectancy and achieve it let's talk about expectancy for a moment a woman who is pregnant knows that there is a life growing inside her she knows that at the set time that which she is expecting to will come forth there is no doubt in her mind because she sees and feels the growth her body has changed her mindset has changed and as time goes on her level of expectancy changes because she knows that any day now new birth will come forth and her life will change forever sorry about the washer y'all know I'm washing clothes today that's how we have to be too. It's if, what? If we're going to reach greater things, our expectancy has to grow to a point where we know God is going to help us accomplish what we can't yet comprehend or imagine. You may know, not know all God has in store for you, but you've got to expect him to do great things through you. In fact, you have to believe it to the point that you can envision it before you actually see it. You have to envision it and then position yourself to accomplish whatever the, those goals are. In the book of Haggai, this was the message that God was trying to relay to the nation of Judah. They were at a place where they were positioned to move forward. They had rebuilt the temple, but they feared it didn't match the beauty of the first one. When Solomon built the first temple, he spared no expense in materials and laborers. What they saw before them now didn't have the splendor of what they had seen before. They were comparing their present to their past. Wow, don't we do that all the time? Like, if I compare my present to my past now, I know my present is way better than my past. Like, my mental state, and I'm not talking about everything in my life, but the majority of my life is better. Like, I can look at something now that was, like, over a year ago was horrible. Like, minus Selena's situation 
well, ours, it's all of us that it affected. But whenever she left, and there was so much confusion, there was so much pain, there was so much anger, there was so much everything except happiness that it was it was just a terrible, terrible time. It was a bunch of of heartache. But now I can talk with her and we can laugh and we can you know, we can talk about just, you know, it's good. It's it's happy. Do I like everything that is going on in her life? No, because you know why. Um, there's certain things that I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy that she is a thousand miles away. I don't enjoy uh, certain aspects of the way she lives. But honestly, some of those things, I don't even know how she lives. Like, just like somebody might look at me and, I mean, we haven't had the conversations about it. I don't know exactly what she believes anymore other than she believes in God. I know she believes in God. But her relationship, I don't really know how it is. But from my perspective, the way it looks, it's, she's not close to God right now. But I'm praying that she gets close to God and I know God will bring her back to Him. So that, I have peace about. I know God is going to bring her back. Okay, so... That's not really what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is the fact that now the pain has subsided. The anger is gone. The fear and the torment is gone. Now we we know how, you know, she knows how much I love her. And she she now has things... Her, the perspectives have changed. She knows how I truly feel instead of how she assumed I felt. She knows things would have been different if things would have been different. But we can't go back and change that. But now, our now is way better than the past. So when I look back at the past for that situation, it's so much better. When I look back at the past for just a few months ago, the pain I was in from my back, and the way it is now, it's way better. If I look back at my past of when I was a young wife and how, let's just say it, I was dumb. I didn't know how to be a wife. When I look back at that and I look at it now, when I look back at what I was taught that was wrong and I look at now what I know is right, it's better. Now, are there things in my life right now that are worse than they were before? Other than I'm older and I have more pain, not really. I mean, my relationship with God is a billion times better. My relationship with my husband, my relationship with my children, it's all better. Like, I can have adult conversations with Noah and he has learned how to not think that I am, you know, he's he's learned about how that I actually think, and he's learned that I'm not sometimes who he assumed, and also I've learned about me. I've learned that I don't have to be what everybody else thinks I should be. Because that's not who God wants me to be. I don't have to live a certain way because that's the way that everybody else did it. I can live the way that God wants me to live and I can go forward in that. Um, my life is a lot better. Does that mean it's going to always be better? Does that mean there's never going to be bad times? Absolutely not. There may be hard times in the future. But I know now because my relationship with God is so much better, I know now who to turn to when those bad times happen. Just like whenever Selena left, I knew where to go. And I went to God. I, I, I prayed to Him, and I did feel peace that was so strange to feel in that situation. Um, he covered me with peace, and I know the difference in where I can go, but I don't even know if that even has anything to do with this. It's just the way I feel about talking to y'all about it. Um, but anyway, they were comparing their present to their past. And of course, Solomon was a well-off man. He had plenty of monies. He could do all the things. 
So, of course, his temple was probably a whole lot more elaborate. Um, okay, sometimes we're the same way. Sometimes we limit ourselves because of our age, our gender, our physical abilities. The list goes on. Oh, my physical abilities are nowhere near as long as much as they used to be. That has gone down. I am nowhere near as strong as I used to be. I'm a weak child now. <laughs> we see our flaws, and we can't see ourselves on a higher level. We compare ourselves to those we see on television or social media. I don't really do that anymore, but I used to. I have learned that those people on social media are showing you their highlight reel. Even me sometimes. I'm not showing you all the bad. I do show you bad, though. You know that. I, I mean, I'm showing you... Oh, that's not messy today. Okay. I'm not showing you all my messes. Okay, I'll show you one. Look at that. <laughs> I don't mind you seeing my messes. Because I'm a messy person. I'm not messy as in gross messy, but I, I, I'm a stacker. <laughs> Jeff is too. That's what makes it really bad. But we know that about each other and we're okay. We love each other in spite of our messiness. It's not really messy. It's just we're tired sometimes. <laughs> And that's not really bad. It's just stacked up. And Let's not talk about it. We see our flaws. We can't see ourselves on a higher level. <laughs> I can, though. And it's okay. Y'all, I'm in a goofy mood. We compare ourselves to those we see on television or social media. I definitely do not compare myself to television. It's all fake. Every bit of it's fake. Even the reality shows, they're fake. Fake, 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 fake. All of it. Fake. So I definitely do not do that. But I used to. I used to think that I had to be a certain way. If I was a Christian, I had to raise my children a certain way. And y'all, there are some things that I taught my children or tried to teach my children that were wrong. Like the purity culture and stuff. Some of that stuff is wacko. I mean, some of it. I don't want to get into it today. But like um, this... I used to think that, you know, you had to court instead of date, and you had to do all this other stuff because of the Duggars, truthfully. Um, no. Even those poor children are like, we had, like, no choices. We had no life. We had, you know, anyways. They were not happy in that situation, but that was the thing that a lot of people thought they were supposed to do, and then you find out it's all crazy. Anyway. I know, I still, I mean, the Duggar family, just like any family, is a mess, and I really wish I hadn't said their name, but it's the one that's out there, everywhere. Every family has skeletons, plain and simple, and they will come out. And there were years where I followed that, and I thought they were just one big happy family. Turns out it was fake. It's all fake. I wish I hadn't said anything about that now, but it's too late. There we go. I still love the family. I still love those children, those, those girls who have come forward and told truths and stuff. And, you know, st told their sides. I love them more because of it. But I don't want to talk about that anymore. I hope I haven't offended. Love you. Okay. Um... At. We compare our gifts and gauge our abilities against theirs. We tell ourselves that we're not beautiful or educated enough. I, I don't care about that part. Y'all know I don't care about beauty too much. I mean, I am what I am. I don't eat green eggs and ham. What is happening with me today? I don't know. Um, educated? I, I'm pretty well educated. I'm more educated than I act sometimes. But I'm less educated than I could be. But I'm always learning, so there we go. That's the best education, is learning always. Uh, we doubt ourselves and place limitations upon ourselves because we think we're not up to par. Oh, I don't feel that way. I don't care. I just don't care. Y'all, I've learned not to care. But I used to. I used to care so much. I wanted everything to look a certain way. Even when I first started my channel, I thought that if I didn't have things a certain way, my channel would not do this, that, or the other thing, and people wouldn't want to watch, and blah, 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 and whatever. And then I found my people. <laughs> and then I found the ones that are just like me, and like it that I'm real. That I don't sugarcoat, that I don't play around, that I don't hide my messes. You know, I don't know. 
Please be encouraged to know that there's nothing you can't achieve with, when God is with you. You've got to be willing to put in the work to stretch yourself in order to achieve the, your ministry position, elected office, or next career level. Just as God promised Haggai, he's going to be with you every step of the way. Please know, my sister, that there is more to you than meets the eye. There is greatness in you, and God is going to do amazing work through you. That I agree with. Don't compare yourselves to others. I agree with that. You are exactly who God wants you to be. Just position yourself for Him to do even greater things through you. Expect it, see it, and you will achieve it. Um, now, I don't think that just because we, like, I don't believe in the name it, claim it kind of situation. I don't believe just because we think we're going to do something that we're going to absolutely do it. Like, I don't believe in certain things in that situation, I guess. Um... Because there are some things that are not in God's plan. They're just not. That is just the way it goes. So we have to be careful with what we're doing. Um, and know the limits God has put on us. And don't get depressed if things don't turn out exactly like you think they should. Because God might have a different plan for you. Now, I think this was a good study. I think it was really... Um, you know, something that it's good to talk about. We shouldn't be comparing ourselves to others because we're not that person. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors. We don't know what's happening in closets. And the reason why I bring up anything in my life is because I have done it. I have compared myself. I have tried to emulate other people. Is that the right word? I think it is. I have tried to do what other people's people do because that's what a good Christian would do. When, honestly, not that they were doing it. I mean, some people were doing it because they're good Christians. And I'm not talking about a TV show right now. I'm about just in general. Some people were doing it because they were good Christians. But some people were doing it because it made them look good. And they weren't really that way. That wasn't their heart. You know. Follow God. Search Him. Search the Scriptures. And... That's where your heart should be. Not anywhere else. Don't follow your heart. Follow God. Um, make sure your heart is chasing after Him. Because He's the only one that matters. He's the only one that can fix it if it does mess up. If it blows up in our face because it wasn't where He was directing us, He's the only one that can do anything about it. We can't. We can't fix it. We can get depressed and we can get sad and we can get lonely and we can get all kinds of negative. But... We don't have to. We we now. I'm not saying you don't ever get depressed because you're a Christian. I'm not saying any of that because I know Christians get depressed. They have anxiety. They have lots of situations. I know myself because I have had anxiety. I still deal deal with anxiety. I deal with not depression like I have before. Nowhere near like I have before. But I have dealt with depression, and. Um, it's not like an ongoing thing anymore because God has brought me through a lot. And the only way that I got through it is by staying in my word, by reading, studying, praying, asking God to deliver me from it, to take it from me, to help me with it. To If I wasn't going to, if it wasn't going to be taken away to help me learn how to cope, to help me live with it, to help me to do what I needed to do so I could serve him better. So, that's the way I got through it, if that makes sense. I hope it does. But anyway, we're going back to this. We're on week 48 next time. It's getting back to where I was. We're reading Ezra 1 through 10, Nehemiah 1 through 13. So, we will do those next time. These are the books that I'm talking about that are really short, that you don't really hear much about, unless you're doing a year-long Bible study or something. But we're going to be doing that. Like I said, it's going to be... Um, Ezra 1 through 10, Nehemiah 1 through 13, and I will have that in the description box down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, then let me know. Tell me in a comment this was good. If you disagree, that's okay. If you agree fully, that's okay too. Because I'm not, you know, God's word is not something I'm going to, I mean, this is not God's word, but that's what she's talking about. But God's word is not something I'm going to argue about. Um, that's just how I am. 
<laughs> I just don't argue about certain things. But I know not everybody agrees with everybody else's philosophy on what the Bible says. We can all, you know, read the same Bible and get different things from it. Sometimes God does it on purpose. Sometimes it's just humans changing it. But it Wow, this rude camera just shut off on me. Anyway, I was about to go anyway. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And hit the bell so be notified whenever I upload. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing because I really do want to know. If you have a prayer request, you can leave that down below as well. I don't know if I ask you to share, but if you do know someone who might want to see this, you can share or anything on my channel. I know my channel is a lot of different things. I try to say that in most of my videos because I don't want somebody to come here and think that my, my channel is just about one thing. It's about our lives. It's about whatever's coming up in our lives, whatever's going on, whatever we're doing. That's what we usually share. Sometimes it's just cooking and cleaning. Sometimes it's DIY. Sometimes lately it's remodeling a mobile home <laughs> which is exciting and fun because that's going to be our home very soon <laughs> and we get to sell this one and y'all i do want to tell y'all some of the reasons why that we want to leave this place but i want to tell you in a way that is different i want to actually show you some of it um and you'll see why we don't really take you around town if I'm able to do this video, I have to talk to Jeff about it. It'll be later though. But, um, you know, show you a little bit of differences of here and there maybe. I don't know. I haven't actually figured it out. But, yeah. We want to get out of here. <laughs> anyway. Remember, don't take any wooden nickels. And be sweet. <laughs>